All right, I'm gonna be doing my face and looking not like a plain potato. So I can possibly do Twitch later, I don't know. I honestly just wanna get dressed up today because I'm tired of being stuck in the house. And I'm tired of just not looking good because I have nowhere to go. So I'm just like, why not look good for myself at my house? And that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so our first step, and we're gonna do the pore minimizer. Don't want to be looking like freaking sponge right now. Oh, I never took. I never took the little thing off my thingy. Well, we get to do that today, right now. If I can get it off without scratching the mirror. Okay, I guess we'll get a brush now. We got my brush right next to me. Oh, I'm trying to find one that's not all full of color already. So I should probably go wash this. I'm probably gonna wash this to, this, to be honest. We use this doodad here. And then we need a crease brush, so we we'll use this doodad here. And then I need another. Need the little nubby brush. Ah yes, here we go, a little nubby brush. Use that boy here. So I'm gonna be doing these ones today. Use a main squeeze and milkshake, strawberry shake, whatever. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna use a singular super shock shadow. Once I can find which one it is. Yeah, and then I'm gonna use it this one. Cause we're gonna go with the red and black theme today. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go into my favorite color of this palette. I'm gonna go into a home slice right there. We're just gonna Maybe focus on the outer edges. And just kind of, you know, really put that down out there. I'm gonna drag it a little obnoxiously far. And I'm not worrying about an eyeliner prim eyelid primer. So I usually use concealer for that, but I'm not worried about that today since I'm gonna be using black, and black is already so strong. And for me, sticks really well, anyways. So, yeah, we're just gonna use some red and pull it on out. I'm just gonna really hold her on there. And then to help with the fade, because this is going to be a very simple look today, I'm going to do the red bottoms. This one in the very corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and really focus on the, um, just on the, on the tip. Just the tip. Then we're just going to kind of... I think they're right there, but it's... Doesn't look like it did too much, to be honest. You know, actually, I'm gonna switch to the little nubby brush. 
I'm gonna load that brush, and then I'm gonna... Oh yeah, there we go. I see a little bit of color. This color is... To be honest, this color is not really doing it for me. I'm gonna take that little bit of loader in here. Just to help with some definition and an easier fade to black. Because sometimes it can get really hard if you try to just fade it straight from red to black. Keep loading the color and I feel like it's just not doing any justice. That could just be user error, but for me I'm just like, oh, um, why are you not working? Alright, that should be enough. Back to this boy, back in the home slice, and let's kind of blend that out a little better as well. Then I'm going to take this doodle. It's going to kind of feather it out. Make our edges just a little lighter. Not bad. Not Alright, do we dare go into the black now? Do we just skip to that part yet or what? Color pop. I like color pop. I have more of it. Most affordable for me for how many colors you get and all that jazz, whatever. I like it. It's my go to's. I do have more expensive palettes, but I generally like to stick with that. You know, we're gonna go with this doodle. This is a different doodle. Whole different guy. It's I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the same shape and everything. Yep, yeah, it's pretty much the same brush. The shape is a different by a little bit, but we're going with this doodle. We're gonna load, load her up. We're gonna just keep loading, 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 loading. All right, then you really just want to focus on the immediate. I led. Earlier, you're doing your best to keep it in one spot because black is one of those hard to recover from for the colors. And I already got messed up, but you know what? We're just gonna make it work. Because that is just what I do. You know, honestly, if I, like, quit and start over a lot of things I did in life, except try to wing it and fix it, I'd probably be a little farther than I am. But I'm not too far behind, so I'm the call it good. Just keep... Focusing on that main eyelid. Slowly drag it into that foldy flap brow bone area. Just a little bit, just to give it more of a ghosty look. Go of the brush. For the makeup, I don't see how that's going to help anything. Um, right now, our brush is a little wet, we're gonna go in and redry this.
more red. I actually have a super shock red that we're gonna try out. So it's not for me to die area, but you know what? Rules are for people. I don't follow it. Eh, okay, I'll follow it. The other one's good in here. Come and shut down. I use cold for my skin tone. I don't like trying to go too pale or too dark or nothing. So I always use my skin tone. You don't need to be a piece of paper to be spooky. I should start this one more time because sometimes I put way too much. Let's try and get those areas without dipping too much into the eyeshadow areas. I really like Smashbox because it's so like, it's thin and lightweight, but it's also there's enough like stuff in it to like actually cover stuff. If that makes sense. It's like a nice lightweight. Just even the littlest bit on clothing can go the longest way. So we're gonna watch what we're doing this time. So you wanna pull that down and over. But yeah, this is my winter shade and I actually didn't get as pale this winter as I usually do for some reason. I am a mixed kid, so I get very tan in the summer, very pale in the winter. And that's just how the story goes. some eyeliner. I'm pretty much done with this eye area. So now it's just the fine details and making it look good. I was gonna, because I have a lot of eyelid skin area, I was gonna pull it. Otherwise it just does not turn out. So I don't mind really these for a minute. Oh, 
power plant, twisty pencil thingy that I usually use. So I usually use um, Smashbox felt tip liner paired with ColourPop twisty liner. to recreate what I did to my face in high school. I'm gonna use some eyebrow, eyebrow stuff and I usually just dip into the like the darkest color right there. I haven't been able to, ever since I shaved my eyebrows I haven't been able to get to Ulta to get the uh, Anastasia dip brow that everyone swears by. And I'm just gonna kind of do a weird eyebrow. Cause this look isn't supposed to be like too fun. There's gonna be tiny brows. Itty bitty brows. There we go, we got one itty bitty brow. Hopefully we can recreate the second and I don't look like a crackhead at Walmart at 3 in the morning. We all know how that goes. Tell me your fun Walmart stories down in whatever area you tell me stuff in. I love hearing about wild stories, especially Walmart stories, because Walmart is just like, you think about it, there's like a spawn point for crackheads, it would be at Walmart, and the main spawn time would be at 3 in the morning, that is my theory, that when, when a crackhead dies, they just respawn at Walmart at 3 in the morning, I don't make the rules. Okay, we kind of have a matching brow, kind of. It's good enough to me because this look isn't supposed to look uniform or anything. And I got a color cover girl thingy eyebrow pencil that I got a while ago. And I just kind of use that to smoothen it out a bit. Oh yeah, we get some crackhead brows. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, now I guess the most important part of when you do foundation and stuff is you have to contour or you're going to look like a pancake or like the moon. Or a pancake moon. I'm gonna make shift what to do because I don't have my contouring brush in here, but I didn't want to go get it. So I got this Smashbox Galaxy Shooting Star thingy, and it has some basic colors in here. Colors that work good with kind of this like paler do. Not paler, it's just kind of. I don't know. I honestly don't know, and I'm not gonna label it because I don't really give a, give a damn. So I'm going to dip into that middle shade with this brush and I'm just going to carve out where my cheekbones used to be because I am pretty much recovered from uh, ED. I used to be severely underweight. Now I'm finally up to a healthy weight and I'm just not used to dealing with it right now. I'm not used to like being a normal size and everything and I'm just adjusting. It's kind of a work in progress, but you know, we'll get through it. I'll get through it. Alright, we're gonna scrub some of that out. Or we can just do like the Death Rock overly 
She's like, I don't want to say overdoing it. There's no such thing as overdoing it. You need to do whatever you want and live how you want because this is the world of freedom. Alright, 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 alright. So we got like the base contour on. So now I'm going to go with like this highlighty, goldy, shimmery thingy, the jig. I'm going to go and put that like right above it to try and add. I don't know. Shimmer and shine. Got a little bit of highlight and contour. And... <clears throat> I guess we're gonna add, we'll add just like the tiniest bit of blush so we don't look completely dead. But. It just doesn't feel right if you don't put just a little bit. Using it all with the same brush, it doesn't matter. I'm going to clean them later anyways. Was that a little too much? I can't tell. Doesn't seem like it, no. There we go. I'm actually going to go back into that middle dark shade and lightly brush my nose. My nose has like an itch on it right now. Let's try not to scratch it in my makeup. Cool, cool, cool. I have chap lips because I bite them a lot. So, I don't know what to tell you, but we going in with the shade Weirdo. This is probably like the best black lipstick matte and any out of any black lipstick I tried, whether it be matte, traditional, like you know, regular twisty up lipstick or whatever, it is probably the best that I've used because it just actually covers your covers your lips and stuff and doesn't come off. It's like it takes me a while to actually get this off, and that's someone who's always Wiping my mouth, eating, drinking, I'm all, God, I'm always, always drinking something. Because I love energy drinks and soda. So I always be drinking those up. So to just, like, top it all off, we're just gonna go on in. Alright, we focus on the middle. To do that because if I try to put it in the corners, it looks like a drooled out color. Always gets on my teeth, too. Carefully, carefully. best I'm gonna call that good enough we're gonna call it good enough cause it's good enough and I'm not doing it again. You know, I might actually do it again and have to get out of the shower later. But, okay. I'm gonna do this one more time. I told you this, my face. This is the one thing I don't like about this. It's hard to tell where, the, where it's gonna come out of. Now we're all misty. We're gonna dry it up. That should be good. Not terrible. Not bad at all for like the first time doing this in a while. So. 
Oh, uh, what's all that jazz you gotta say at the end of this, uh, do the, do the thingy, and thingy, and the following me.